Hello everybody! Hello Goofy Goobies! In today's video I'm back with another haul. Going shopping is a fun activity for me and also with Corona and stuff like not everything is open yet so the only thing really to do with my spare time now is shop or eat food. Um, so basically a lot of money is coming out of my account, it's not good, but I'm happy with what I've got. The stuff I'm going to show you are from Primark, Zara and Vintage Shops in Brighton. Enough being said, let's get in to the video! So yeah, let me show you what I got from post lockdown shopping. I've got some summer dresses to show you, got some skirts, some jumpers, I've got it all. So anyway, let's get cracking. Let's start with Bershka. So the first thing I got from Bershka was this cute little dress. Don't tell me this does not scream summer, I don't know if it's focusing. Focus on me. Palm tree kind of pattern going on. I just thought with a tan, this is going to look amazing. I got this in a size small, so let's hope it's not too small. And this was £17.99. Okay. Focus camera. I fucking hate the G7X. It honestly is so shit. I should not have listened to all these YouTubers saying, get the G7X because it's awful. I'm in love. This is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. Is it meant to be this tight? I can't tell. I feel like if you have bigger boobs, the small might not fit you because this is tight around here and I literally don't have boobs. So I can't imagine what it would feel like on someone that actually has boobs. You might have to size up. Girl! Girl! Oh my god, and it has this cute little slit here, which is kind of kind of scandalous, kind of naughty. Girls, this is so cute. Oh my god. And it looks good on the bum. Oh, someone from Tesco that I work with is walking past my house. I'm just gonna wait because I don't really want him to see me like this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me do it up quick. Cutesy little ladybug. That's what I feel right now. I feel like such a cute little bitch. I look so innocent. Oh, it's coming down. So I guess you could either wear it like this or you can wear it like this. Oh, look at the back. I know this sounds bad, but this is considered a long dress for me because normally I have dresses like up to here, but this is kind of like near my knees. So it's kind of like a weird length, but I do think it's really cute. The reason I bought this is because I thought it would look absolutely adorable with docks. I've got these platform docks. Oh my God, I just spat. Yeah. Look at this cuteness. Love it! And also look at these bad boys. Put it behind your neck. Oh, that's pretty cool. I feel like this outfit is too like edgy and cool for me. Um, it doesn't really fit my personality. Oh well. So the next item we have is this top. This is from Primark. Absolutely love it ladies. It's just perfect. Um, this was also from the pajama section and this was only £3 which is amazing. This is from Zara and this was only like £10. They had it in orange as well but it didn't have, they didn't have my size unfortunately so I might try and buy the orange online. But this is just such a cute little staple piece for summer. Like long skirts are quite in at the moment and I really wanted to get one because they're so th flattering and I don't really like my legs on show anyway. So I thought this was a good purchase. That is so cute, but you know, that is a so short. Oh, no, you would have to wear it with a oversized shirt. Got an even cuter top that suits this skirt so much better, and I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> I love this top so much. I absolutely love this. This is from Bershka, so Bershka Zara. This was, I can't remember how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was like 12 pounds pretty sure but i absolutely love it like it's so summery you can just put a cute little jacket on top of it and i just think it is so cute especially with the skirt i just posted an instagram in this outfit as well so if you want to follow my instagram it's bella hill i'll leave it linked in the description so now going on to vintage shops in brighton i got this top now this top was 20 pounds and i just don't know if it was worth it or not but it's this brand lacoste or whatever it's called um i just thought it was really cute because i love the length of it it's like cropped and i thought it would look really cute with this skirt like it's kind of giving me like tennis vibes and i just think with some like white basic air forces this could look like a really cute casual fit you know what i mean like look here it is cute it is really cute. What has happened to my hair? 
That is an issue. My hair is too long for these clips. It does look really odd. I need a haircut, guys, because what should I do with my hair? Like, I don't know if to go dark, I don't know if to go lighter, I don't know what length. Like, I do really like my hair when it's, like, here, but my mum would kill me if I cut my hair, because I don't know why she just thinks I won't be a woman if I cut my hair. But anyway, next. Uh, the next vintage thing I got. This was £10. So it had this little detailing on it. What does it say? I can't read backwards. F oh, I don't fucking know. And once again, I got this because I thought it would look really cute with this. Um, James says it looks weird, but I think this is a really cute, like, evening beach walk outfit where you're still a bit it's still a bit hot outside so you've got your long skirt on you've got wind going in between your legs but you've also got a comfy little pillover on and i just think it looks cute and effortless so i really like it 10 pounds if you want to have a day out in brighton definitely go to the lanes because they have got some cool stuff in there some stuff is overpriced but like you can find stuff like this really cheap so then what I also got in the lanes was this little fleece for £10. I just thought, like, summer summer evenings, it would be nice to just throw on, you know. Um, this does not look right together, but... I don't know, I do love a fleece. I do love a granddad fleece. So the first thing I got from Primark was this lovely, cute little pink top. This was £3, and I just thought it was so cute and comfy, and I also got it in khaki colour colour. It's a top your mum would love. It's a top your granny would love. Do you know what I mean? It is just a nice little casual essential top that I absolutely love. So the next thing I got was this pink blazer this blazer was 15 pounds and i thought again summer evenings like going out for a drink i just thought it would be so cute this does not really look right with this i'm not styling it very well but i think it's cute i think it's really cute it is a really i need to style it um how should i style it right let's see what this looks like this was very last minute trying to make it work okay that kind of works does it does it not i really don't know what i did try to do is i tried to do a bando top but it didn't really work oh with a corset can you see the mess you don't want to see the floor anyway this is the next top i got from sheen not sheen primark this is giving me very mum vibes it's giving me very christian fashion it's like i feel like a child but i also look like a mum so i don't know it's a bit weird i can't tell if it's meant to be cropped or i just bought a too small size i bought an eight which is like an extra small at primark um but i think it is really cute like with high waist it looks kind of cute i'm not going to say too much about this because i've got so much other shit from primark i need to show you lots of shit but good shit Hi. I absolutely love this. Girl, maybe I got too much of a small size. It does look kind of small. Um, so this was in the pajama section, which all the good tops I got were in the pajama section, and I don't know why. Like, maybe it's just Bright and Primark. Like, to be honest, Bright and Primark is shit. I'm surprised we even had this in here. Apparently, like, the reason why Bright and Primark is so shit um is because Primark like stock the north first. So then obviously when they get down to Brighton and South. We just get all the remains. We get all the fucking shit. So, yeah. This is really cute, though. This was, like, £2. And I feel like I can work out in it. It looks like a workout top, but I feel like... Oh, my God. Why do I feel like this would work together? Oh, my God. It kind of does. Oh, my God. She's kind of cute. Put some size of it. Oh, I do love blue. I do love blue. I can't believe I found this in Primark because this looks like a top I would get in Bershka for like nine, ten pounds, but this was literally three pounds. And I absolutely love the blue, so I had to get it in pink. I've got so many pink tops. It's kind of an issue. This is kind of like a nice top to just throw on to go to the beach with like a bikini under or whatnot. Like, if you saw my receipt from Primark, everything was £3. Like, nothing was above, which is fucking crazy. Like, why is it so cheap? I have a feeling it's a bad reason why it's cheap. Hello! See, I was a bit hesitant to get this because it's just a vest. Do you know what I mean? But this tucked in with white jeans is actually adorable. Like... That is super cute. Let me put the like 
let me take the tag off. Oh. This is such a basic, and this was £2.50, which is mad. Um, such a basic fit, but with the colours, it just complements each other so nicely. I got this bag from Bershka, and I'm literally obsessed with it. Like, look, such an effortless fit. Such a versatile outfit, like, you can get brunch in it. You can get like a beer in the evening with it, you know, like with a bit of jewelry, makeup on, etc. Hair down. Shall I let my hair down for it? I'm gonna let my hair down for it. My hair is kind of greasy, but oh my gosh, cute! feel like a Sarah in this. So that's all the clothes that I have to show you. Now I'm going to show you jewellery. So I went to La Visa, which is in Brighton Churchill Square. They had a sale on it. It was like five for ten pounds, which was super good because most of their stuff is like five pound per earring. So proper nice. So the first things I got were these fucking fairy earrings that I absolutely love. Also, please excuse my hand. Fake tan gone wrong. I got this cute, cutesy little ring which is kind of tacky but also kind of adorable so that was seven pounds and i got five for ten proper parking if you ask me and then as you can tell i do love pearls so i got this pearl ring also do you want to see something really cute for mine and james's six months james got me this necklace and inside it has a real pearl yeah inside it has a real pearl and basically it came in a clam and i had to proper open the clam and get the pearl out and then whatever color it is is like the color you need and all the colors have different meanings for example mine um white pearl means happiness and i do need happiness anyway i just thought that was so cute i want to show you that um and then i got some basic silver earrings and then i got some matte gold earrings because i just love gold hoops and um yeah that's all i got so i hope you like this video if you want any more hauls from me just comment down below because i love doing hauls because i love buying clothes so uh, yeah if you liked this video make sure to subscribe because i've got more videos coming and also watch my previous video my previous video is me and james doing the rock paper scissors challenge and it's actually really funny so, um yeah guys stay groovy peace love and jesus and i'll see you in my next video